In last video we have created AWS account. And it welcome us into the AWS Management Console. I'm just going to give you a quick overview of AWS Management Console. How everything works in there. So, first of all, on the top right corner, you have the region. And right now I am in US East 1 which corresponds to US Northern Virginia. But as we can see, we have a lot of regions around the world where we can start using AWS. So my general opinion is to choose a region that is geographically close to you. So because I'm in India, maybe a good place to start for me would be Asia Pacific, Mumbai, a P South 1. But if you're in another continent, if in Asia, Asia Pacific, maybe choose one of those. If you're in Africa and you have a specific region in Cape Town, if you're in the US, you have four regions and so on. And so the idea is that it doesn't have to be a region in your own country, but something that's close to you so that you have the least amount of latency while using AWS and following along with me. Okay, so I'm in Ireland. Now with the console, you can look at all the services that are here in the page right here, but you can also access other services on the top left corner in the bar and you get access to a list of all the services available in AWS. As you can see, that's a lot of services. But don't worry, we'll learn the most important ones in this course. Another really good trick that you have is the search box. So I really like the new search bar. So if you type IAM, for example, this is going to take you straight into the IAM service. And on top of your service. Some features of AMI, groups, roles, policies and users. But this also shows you documentation and marketplace results, if you wanted to. So let's have a look at IAM. So I'm going to open IAM in a new tab. So I'm in IAM. I am and as you can see here on the top right corner, it says global. That's because I am, as we'll see in this course, is a global service, and it does not require region selection. But if I go back and choose another service, for example, EC2, then I will have the fact that on the top right corner, it says Ireland, so EC2 is what's called the regional service. That means that if you operate EC2 in another region, for example, I switch from Ireland to, say, Frankfurt, then I'm going to have a completely new different sets of resources. So resources are scoped. Your region for most services in AWS and you will know if it's a regional service or not by looking at the top right corner. But most services in AWS are regional. The other thing you can look at is the global infrastructure web page on AWS, so you just Google it. And what you can do is that if you click on AWS regional services, then you get access to which services are available within reach, which region. So for US East Ohio, for example, I have the list of all the services available to me. So if in this course you are operating in the region, for example, you're in Cape Town in Africa and you don't have access to a specific service, I'm teaching this course, then switch to another region. By using the top right corner to one that's different, that will have maybe access to the service we're talking about. This is very important, because I want to be able to follow along, but not every service is offered in every region. And that's something you have to know when you're using AWS. Okay, so that's it for this lecture. I hope you liked it and I will see you in the next lecture.